Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the last two videos where I showed you around the new villa we're staying at, the holiday party that we had here with all the friends. But a lot of people have been asking, what is your daily life actually like? What are you actually doing? What do you think of the south here in Ahagama, kind of Walegama area? So let me show you what we've actually been up to, starting with my home office. So every morning I sit here and I answer my emails, I do my work. Sometimes I'm actually in that shala there. I'm pretty sure Christina is still sleeping. Good morning, Christina. Dovaduchina. <laughs> But I normally wake up early and I actually go straight from bed, naked, and I jump in that pool. Time to start the day. So this is Christina. <laughs> <laughs> You're not naked, I don't worry. So, so this is Christina's morning routine. She lays in bed and checks Instagram. <laughs> and YouTube comments for an hour. Our adopted dog, Sabaka Lucci, he's not supposed to be here. He's supposed to be outside, but he loves laying here. So he guards us while we sleep. Sabaka Lucci, you're supposed to be outside. He's not really our dog, it just hangs out here, but him and, well, her and Malinki Lucci, we really love. They come by pretty much every day. Christina's going up to swim now. It's her turn. Alright, so we decided to leave the house and get some food. So we're here at Blue Porch, which has a beautiful view of the ocean. So it's a great place to sit. Uh, one of the few restaurants that are open, but nice spot. Really beautiful waves crashing as well. This is really good. We still have no idea what this is called, but it's really good. <laughs> and we got a falafel with hummus as well. This place is so nice. Mm -hmm. Like, I, we should need to come here more often. Christina loves these bread trucks that drive around. They actually look kind of cool. They're like a greenhouse with bread. There's a cute little one here, it's like a little tiny house. Alright, so we just stopped next door to get some fruits. What did you get? So baby pineapple. Huge baby pineapple. Oh my god. Which is useless. <laughs> yeah, it's so useless. It's so small. But it's, it's so like literally useless. one of these. It's like this thing. Like by the time you cut it, there's nothing left, but it is cute. We need it for beauty. When we have like beautiful breakfast, if you cut it, it would be so beautiful. Yeah. And we got fresh cinnamon. And this yeah, is real so cinnamon beautiful. too. Look, oh my god. Sri Lankan cinnamon. So beautiful. And both of these was 200 rupees, which is a dollar and 10 cents for a pineapple and a whole bunch of cinnamon. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. How much would that just that cinnamon be in, in Ukraine? Oh my god. I, I don't know. Like, I think it, I think in the US like it'd be hard to buy this. It'd be like 20 yeah. bucks or something. So, and usually we have another kind of cinnamon. The fake cinnamon. Like, yeah, like cinnamon. So cinnamon. Nice. Alright, so this is how people buy cooking oil. It's always vegetable. It's uh, always coconut oil. Coconut oil? Coconut oil. Oh, nice. Keep... Vegetable oil, coconut oil. Coconut oil. So people bring their old Iraq bottles to refill. And how much is one bottle? This bottle, how much? Bottle, bottle. No, 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 this uh, oil? Uh, 350. 350? Okay. 350. One, one bottle refill. Nice. Oh, that's cute. He brought the little uh, container jugs. So I have no idea, guys. Do Sri Lankan people even eat dal macaroni? Or I guess even macaroni. I've, I've never actually seen Chinese people use macaroni or pasta in kind of like day-to-day -day cooking. Is it more for like a Western style food at home, uh, or is there like some Sri Lankan dish using dal and macaroni that I've never heard of? Christina loves hanging random fruit from our mirrors. So we got all this pasta, dal, these vegetables. Now let's go to the Cargill Food City. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
So okay. I had to carry this. That's the nothing. Okay. Put put that down on the ground. Uh, put that put it down and sh and show the bike. And da 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 da. -da. So we have this stuff here. Some bananas here. We have like ten bags down here, <laughs> all stacked on top of each other. And then the trunk is full as well. It's all full. Oh my god. This is the hard part about owning a scooter and living uh, in a villa. Here's the truth, guys. We only leave this villa maybe like once or twice a week. Because it's so <laughs> nice just to chill here that we just buy groceries and we just hang out. And that's why we buy so much stuff. But anyways, let's go inside. So we just unpacked everything. Christina's taking photos here. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what? What were you looking at? Oh, your hair looks good. <laughs> this is a different video. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Christina was hanging out here because we see these kids sitting in the tree. How cute is that? And their dad's fishing here in our lake. Any fish? All good. And those kids are just chilling up there. It looks so cool. Christina's checking out her new $3 haircut. <laughs> From here, it looks really good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, these monkeys never come this close to our villa, but there's one just in this tree right here, like literally right next to our pool. I hear some more right over there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. it it was so close so it needs a bit more milk and we've been using coconut milk Sri Lankans don't ever use coconut milk <laughs> in like smoothies or for cereal uh, but it's 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 amazing it's way healthier than like soy milk or cow's milk and these are the two brands I've been using here in Sri Lanka this one is way easier to use because it always stays liquid Mm -hmm. This one is kind of a pain, because especially in the fridge, the cream separates from the water. Mm -hmm. But I kind of assume maybe it's healthier, maybe it's more natural, because I don't know how they keep it from not um, getting together. So this is easier to use, it's more smooth, but this is probably more natural. So I just diluted it with a little bit of water and I had to stir it just to bring it back into, um, back into like a milk consistency. But it's delicious, guys. Mmm, oh my god, beautiful. Ah. Mm. So finally we got <laughs> beef farsh. Yeah, and olive oil. Mm. From yeah. Actually from Italy. Oh. Extra virgin. Wow, so fancy. No, <laughs> we need it. Yeah. So today will be pasta bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Mm -hmm. Homemade by special Johnny's recipe. Mm -hmm. Looks Hopefully so good. Oh, it looks fantastic. And speaking of special recipes, Christina made something today. It's gonna take about four or five days to set and get ready. Let's take a look. What I made? <laughs> what you make today? What I made today? Ah, but, uh, <laughs> you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So here, look at this beauty. Mm. It will be liqueur. Uh -huh. So it's arak mm -hmm. with pineapple, ginger, and cinnamon. Mm. And little, little, little bit of vanilla essence. Uh, so rack, if you guys don't know, is the Sri Lankan alcohol. It's very different than the terrible rack you get in volume in places. <laughs> here is actually kind of a mix between rum and whiskey. So it's going to be really, really nice. And this is for us bringing to Christmas. Mm. So it's coming really nicely. The sauces are mixed together with the canned tomatoes, the garlic, the onion, and the 
minced beef. And the pasta, I think it's almost ready, but I'm gonna check it by doing the uh, tried and trusted way of testing spaghetti. You guys know how to do this? Let me show how? you. How? Okay. <laughs> Very scientific. Oh my god. If it's ready, it'll stick. Oh my god! It's not ready! <laughs> yeah, almost ready. <laughs> oh my god! First time I see signs like this. <laughs> Johnny's recipe, special recipe. Let's put it back in just <laughs> mm. So. It's very good. <laughs> very good. Looks amazing. Okay. That's a spot. Let's eat. Oh my god, I even didn't know that we have also toast. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we have some pesto toast to go with. Mm. Mm. So Italian style. Mm -hmm. The sauce is ready, mm -hmm. and this pasta, let's do the test again to see if it's ready. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Yeah. Why is it going to fall? Okay, don't worry. Maybe, you know, is it, if it sticks, maybe it's, is it, if it sticks, it's not ready. <gasps> yeah. Maybe that's what it is. If yeah. it sticks, it's not ready. If it doesn't stick, it's ready. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody test it at home. <laughs> um, so anyway, everything is ready. Uh, so, much know how. Let's eat. Let's, uh... Let's get a shot of this. Mm -hmm. This homemade sauce. I think it's going to be even better for that it's for another hour, but we're hungry, so... Let's, um... Let's enjoy it now. Mm. Oh my god. How's that look? Ah, fantastic. One final touch, guys. With a freshly grated Parmesan cheese mm. in a packet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody grated it. Hopefully, freshly. <laughs> it's so dark. Oh. <laughs> we need oh more no. wine, guys. <laughs> we don't know. We don't have to be uh, peasants today. It's kind of like communals. It's the, the taste that counts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This Merlot needs you. I love <laughs> this label. And we need more Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's eat and let's be merry. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Don't do mm -hmm. too much. That's all we have left. <laughs> <laughs> So here is the yoga class we're doing this morning here on this rooftop overlooking this beautiful ocean. The sun just coming up, the palm trees, the people fishing on stilts. It's really beautiful. This place is called Toneomi in Guadagama.
All right, so we just got done with yoga. I realized I haven't done yoga in like since we met. Did I ever do it with you? No, right? I do like some stretching at home by myself, but it's the first full hour I've done in like six months, and I really needed it. Like my back was all messed up, and I feel like everyone, especially guys, need to do yoga at least once a week. That's gonna be my New Year's resolution: yoga once a week. Now on. Yeah, maybe. So this is our lovely yoga teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for students. Everybody can be teacher, but no, it's not easy to come. Yeah. Christina, what did you cook? Uh, as always, rice, carrots, some cabbage mm. for health and egg. Nice. That's not for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. So Luigi's not even eating yet. It's like, where's the meat? Uh, I didn't find the meat. <laughs> There's sausage at the very bottom. No. Yes. So it's tiny. Luxury, no, there's cheap sausages here at the very no, bottom. No cheap sausages, just luxury sausages. They're all cheap sausages. No. Is it have egg? Okay. So Bakamuchi is like, oh, <laughs> I'm a vegetarian now. <laughs> ah, doesn't want it. <laughs> Give him a sausage. Okay. He's like, Why did you not eat anything. <laughs> Alright, so you did know where it is. Huh? You do know where it is. What? You, you did see it. I saw just uh, expensive sausages. No, 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 I'll show, I'll show you where it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was a good one. This is like Cargill's finest. We want Cargill's cheapest. No, I told you that it's luxury sausages. Yeah, the very bottom. Well, yeah. These are good. the cheap ones. These are the goldies. Actually, they actually taste pretty good, but I give yeah, them the dogs. Yeah, we <laughs> want <laughs> The dog fried rice looks really good as a cabbage. I want some too. Did <laughs> <laughs> it just fall on the rice? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. But you always need to see it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy Svakaluchi. So it's pouring rain all of a sudden. So the dogs are hanging out inside. Normally, these kind of flash rains only last a few minutes. So let's see how the almost won't last. But this is uh, pretty normal for being here in the jungle. And it's kind of nice, right? Like, we're inside. It's covered. The dogs are dry. Everything gets green and beautiful. And it really cools everything down, so it's no longer hot. I don't know, I really like this weather. I think like being in Nora Ella, when it was cold, I started really enjoying it more. Oh, Christina left her towel outside, so I think she's ready for it. You okay? <laughs> oh, she just slipped. I don't, think I, I don't know if I caught that or not, but... I'm glad, oh. We got, we've got to put all the stuff inside. Thank you, darling. Careful. Oh no, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I just saw you on the floor. <laughs> oh, this is funny. You didn't see the car. It happened. What happened? You just, I just like sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you get a little slippery. Like, this is nice because it's. Uh, that, but then here it can be like super slippery all of a sudden. Oh, okay. I'm glad you're okay. I saved all of my cats. Thank no, you. You I saved the good. towel. You saved yeah. that. You, you saved everything. So one of the nicest things about living here is new sheets every week. Or is it once a week or how often is it? Hmm? How often do you change it? Like once a week or once every? One week. Every week, new sheets. I love it. Good job. <laughs> It's also nice when Christina's cooking. 
This looks so nice. It's like avo toast. Ooh, with sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it looks so good. So beautiful. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> oh my gosh. So professional and tender. This is our new vegetables that we got from. Um... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and the basil. Oh, good job. I didn't know how to use it all. We yeah, have like a kilo of basil. <laughs> <laughs> We've just added to everything. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it. It stopped raining and it's sunny again. It's beautiful. This is what's so nice about being in South Sri Lanka. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there was a bunch of random clips of everything that we do kind of all around uh, Ahagama here. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, and leave a comment below. Tell me what your daily life looks like and if you would like to be here in Ahagama. See you guys, bye-bye. Even Malinky Luchi's dancing. Woo!